the simple cerebellar ones then are, this is more for the lateral cerebellum now, how we're coordinating the limbs. That would be putting your arms out like this with uh, eyes closed. And then you're going to put the tip of this finger onto the end of your nose. That's it. And then back and then do the same on this side. And so this again is, that tends to be the standard neurological test. Yeah. I'm wanting to see is the subtle dysfunction, particularly if you've got a shoulder problem or an elbow problem or something like this. Do I need to do things to get the cerebellum working better or am I um, just working on the periphery? So what I would do then is ask you to cover, if you cover that eye, put finger on your nose. And normally I'd stand here, but I won't from the camera. So if you look at the number five there, I would then, that would be looking at my nose probably. I'd then say, touch my finger. That's it. And back. Try and keep looking at the number five. That's it. And back. And then here. And so here we're looking for intention tremors is the uh, accuracy. And then comparing it side to side. And you tend to see subtle differences, and the patient often says, oh, yeah, it's harder that side, I'm not quite sure. Or they have to keep looking because their frontal lobe isn't able to inhibit the response. Yeah. Um, then if I'm going to look at the frontal lobe more um, saccades, quick eye movements, so I might be getting you to look at this finger and then this finger, um, then look at the number five, and then look there and look here. Or what's a very good one for seeing how the uh, frontal lobe is being able to inhibit things and then response inhibition saccades. So here you'd look at number five again. And if I move this finger, you've got to look at that one. And then if I move that finger, you've got to look at that one. So the reflexive action is to look at the finger that moves because yes. it's something that's happening. Your brainstem is saying we've got to look over there. But then the frontal lobe has got to override that and say, no, we're going to look at the other one. So uh, if I do this, that's it, then look at the five and there, and I'd be doing it like that. And I then try and trick them by kind of doing a couple one side and the other and seeing how far they can go. And so this, that's quite a nice um, one with uh, the frontal lobe. And what you tend to see when the frontal lobe's going down is that there's still some retention of um, primitive reflexes as well. You'll see yeah. the reflex in the face, the hands, the feet coming back if there's been... Um, a head injury or cognitive decline or so.